All right, welcome back again, all of my investors. I got to shoot this video real quick because moving forward, I know a lot of people are going to be interested in taking advantage of these ICOs or these initial coin offerings. All right, all of these token sales that are claiming to be so profitable. All right, in order to properly position yourselves, you're going to need one of these Ethereum wallets. All right, or ERC compatible, ERC20 compatible wallets. Okay. Uh, so when we're dealing with these smart contract uh, uh, type of setups, uh, then, hey, after you send over your investment, uh, then your coins should be automatically sent back over to you. OK, uh, that's the way a smart contract work. All right. So these these contracts should perform exactly as programmed without any possibility of fraud, downtime or, or any third party censorship. So if we pay in an ICO automatically, those coins should land back uh, in our wallet. All right. And they have to land back. In one of these wallets so this is the wallet we're going to be using a my ether wallet and i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set it up all right so okay cool so uh, uh just as soon as we get in here or get over to, to my ether wallet.com all right make sure uh that you're at the correct site because there are a lot of scammers out here all right so in order to create create a new wallet is very simple okay first things first is you want to you create a password all right now this password does encrypt your private key so you do not want to be negligent with this do not lose it okay nobody else can access your funds for you nobody has the private nobody has the passwords uh and nobody should have the private keys except for you all right so uh real easily uh i'm gonna go ahead and set one up uh just so that you guys can see how it's done um once it's, once i do that just click create new wallet all right save your key store file okay make sure that you save your key store file do not lose it it cannot be recovered all right do not share with anybody because anybody uh, uh that's trying to manipulate you out of this file uh can potentially access your your funds okay uh so you de you do not want to be negligent you do not want to let anybody uh, uh get a hold of this okay also make a backup all right every wallet that you're creating right now all right, I know it's a lot, a lot, a lot of wallets that you're creating right now, but you got to make sure you're bagging these wallets up, okay? If you're not bagging these wallets up, uh, then, hey, you just might lose it. And again, when you're dealing on the blockchain, uh, when you're dealing with these decentralized type of applications, uh, nobody else has the passwords, all right? Nobody else can access this stuff except for you, all right? So you have the power, you have the control, okay? Uh, once you download this, uh, uh, this, this, this key store file, I'm going to actually go ahead and do it um and and please don't try to memorize any of this stuff this is only for um the video purposes okay i understand and i do continue okay so save your private key all right i don't care if you're gonna copy this and paste it somewhere copy copy it and paste it in, in in maybe a note file that you may have uh i actually use um my note file um let me see i hope I'm not showing you guys too much uh but yeah so um just as easy as that uh, let me see so I'll copy that right there easy all right you want to copy that uh, and you can also print that paper wallet print a paper wallet okay if you want to print a paper wallet um, uh, simply just click that that uh, you know create a paper wallet and then bang you'll be able to print that out and you'll be able to again store that in a safe place okay uh, store that somewhere uh, preferably offline uh, that's that's the stuff that you want to put in a safe okay control your private keys all right so uh i'm gonna click save and save my address all right and here we are unlock your wallet to see your address okay your address can also be uh known as your account uh hashtag or your public key all right you might hear me often refer to this as a public key uh but uh this is what you share with people so that they can send ether or tokens uh to your wallet all right you can also check your account balance uh, just by using this public key all right uh you can also find a colorful address icon and make sure it matches your paper wallet whenever you enter your address somewhere okay so again how do you access your wallet uh, we're going to always use this private key okay so the only thing we need to do is inject that private key right there uh, click unlock your wallet and then bing we got some more information they're going to show us our public address all right uh, they're also going to show that private key if I want to see that private key okay you can see this private key this is a public public address or that public key and you also have a private key all right the pub the private key should always be kept uh, uh, hidden from parent eyes obviously uh, and the public address 
only thing somebody can do with that is send you money okay so again when you when you're trying to take control of a wallet or when you're setting up a wallet if you do not have control or if you do not have access to your public key and also your private key then there's no real way for you to prove ownership of your tokens all right so again this is uh, myetherwallet.com it's a pretty easy setup uh once once you get in there uh remember back up everything save the private keys all right write them down uh copy them down uh but just make sure that you keep them out of reach of um you know anybody that you know that might be you know trying to steal or something like that right uh but anyway here's your public address right there if you want to send wallet uh send funds to this wallet or if you want to check the account balance uh, you can easily enter this uh, address right here uh, and then you can find out more you can see all of the transaction hit history at eatthescan.com and you can also check on uh uh your tokens uh what they're valued at and how they've been performing all right uh, you can check that out at eatplora.io uh and you can also see all of the token balances right uh so check this out um if i went to show tokens these are a list of all of the erc compatible tokens all right and when i say erc compatible uh that pretty much just means that they're running on the same standard uh or pretty much the same blueprint uh as the ethereum token all right so these are uh called erc20 tokens so all of them uh take a liking after the, uh, the ethereum all right they were all created on the ethereum blockchain okay so again uh when we enter in into these icos we buy some of these tokens uh they may uh in turn send us some tokens back here uh and again they'll they'll land right back here i mean sometimes you may have to go and add a custom token um but other than that hey this is a, another wallet again this is my ether wallet uh this is where you can store send and receive not only your ethereum but also but also all of your erc20 tokens all right so again thanks again thanks 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 for checking this out um hey good luck to you guys this year uh on your investments and hey i will see you in the next video peace